Now this is a video I've been planning to make for quite a while and with the tragic news of Kobe's death coming last week I can't think of a better time to talk about this subject. So yeah, here's a short ramble from me about why we should really start to appreciate this golden era of greatness that we've been able to enjoy in sporting history. With the start of a new decade comes the beginning of the end for a truly remarkable era for sports. The term go is thrown around very easily nowadays and speaking from a personal perspective, I don't think there's ever been a time in history where so many generational talents and elite performers have been active in competition at the same time across so many different sports. I know it might sound silly but for so many people out there sport is more than just a game that they watch on the TV on the weekends. It provides a sense of escapism, it's a stress reliever, a source of happiness and for many a beacon of hope. It sounds silly I know but for me during a very intense period early this year where I was applying for jobs, preparing for exams, meeting essay deadlines, a huge source of motivation and happiness for me was just the 90 minutes watching Liverpool win game after game after game. But people fall in love with sport not just because of teams, but also certain individuals. I only really started following football when I discovered Steven Gerrard and my love for the NBA came along with the emergence of James Harden as an elite player for the Houston Rockets. Going further back, Muhammad Ali was a huge icon both in and out of the ring and his impact on society has been huge. But the point I'm trying to make in this video is I don't think any other generation has seen what we've seen in the past 10 to 15 years in terms of the level of performance. In football, the fan bases of Messi and Ronaldo, obviously they are have equally arguable cases for their hero to be lauded as the greatest of all time. And then in tennis we have a three-way battle for supremacy between Novak Djokovic, Rafa Nadal and Roger Federer getting tighter and tighter every year. Even when Djokovic does eventually surpass Federer for the most grand slams, I'm not so sure that the majority of tennis fans will be so quick to accept the serve as the greatest to ever grace the court. His consistency has been remarkable but that might not cut it for some people. I mean myself included, some people might prefer the unmatchable class and flair of Federer's game or the passion and intensity in every stroke that Nadal plays. It's just so subjective. You have to look at the case of Serena Williams. She's by far the greatest women's tennis player of all time, but she's not regarded as the greatest overall. I think that's a whole other video in itself. Over in the States, we've got LeBron James chasing his fourth NBA championship with his irresistible LA Lakers this season. And even though that tally is just over half of what Michael Jordan accumulated, it's quite possibly the most contentious sporting debate out there. Scroll through Twitter at any given moment and you're definitely going to see a tweet comparing the two. Floyd Mayweather's ridiculous 49-0 undefeated record is unprecedented and it's something which puts him in the same bracket as Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson in the conversation for boxing's all-time greatest performer. Clearly, for all the names I mentioned and so many more, the clock is winding down on their careers. And with them, we are quietly approaching a quick succession of goodbyes to legends of sport who've transformed their games in their own unique way. The question is, are we going to see an era of greatness at this level ever again? Are those guys already active in sport? Who do you guys think could surpass the greats that I've discussed in this video? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I am trying to get back into a routine now. I know I've said it so many times, but let's hope this is the one. Um, make sure you subscribe to show your support for the channel, uh, hit the bell icon to join the notification gang and I'll see you soon.